Hey, it's Camo with the Nashville Access Facebook Show, brought to you by Solis North Gulch Apartments, where taste matters. Um, look who I found. We were just doing the thing. Yeah, look. <laughs> Uh, on How are you? Look, it's tail on ho. <laughs> Thanks uh, for having me. It's nice show. to have another redhead on the show. Yes. I used to I used to be like that. Really? Yeah, yes. But it went all gray. <laughs> so you, this is what you get to yes. look forward to. Okay. Yeah, exciting. Uh, come on, let's sit down. We're gonna start the show. <laughs> Slide over here and get comfortable. Um so you're a relatively new artist. I mean, off mic, you were saying you moved to Nashville a couple of years yes. ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I started singing when I was four. Uh, I just turned 14 two weeks ago. So. Oh, good lord. Yeah. <laughs> so I moved to Nashville when I, was, when I was 12. So that was two years ago. This coming June, I think it was June 4th. So right at CMA week, I remember we moved. And um, it's just been such a journey. So, so it's so cool being in this business as a young artist, like really young. And, 14. Um, yeah, 14. Yeah, okay. So. <laughs> I, you may have to remind me of that. <laughs> well, I I just love like um, I connect with adults really well, so well, I like you won't I, fit in with me. Then. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> I don't know. I think I feel like I'm an old soul. I just I just love country music. I love the traditional stuff, Patsy Cline, Dolly, and I just um, I write too. So songwriting is one of my favorite things. So yeah, um, I just love what I do. So. Yeah, being a ginger, you you obviously <laughs> have to love Reba. Yes, Reeve was one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, my producer actually toured with her for about um, 10, 11, 12 years. Um, I forget which tour it was, but it was just like the world tour she did in the 90s. So um, uh, he knows all about her and tells me stories. Give a shout out to your producer. Um, Kent Wells. He's, he's been, yeah, Kent's yeah. been. He's been around. I, we tell him all the time he needs to write a book, but he, he's just like, I don't have time to write a book. I'm just like, well, I'm going to make you write a book. <laughs> All those like people are wanting him to like um, write one, so he's just an incredible person to work with, and as a friend too. So that's one thing I've heard about Ken is mm -hmm. that he's very good at nurturing young talent. Yes, I, I agree totally because I um, my first album I made with him when I was eleven, and it came out in um, December of twenty sixteen. Sorry, I, I'm still <laughs> yeah. wrapping my head around. I made my first album at eleven. Yeah. Well, it's just like. Um, it's just like playing basketball when you're like 11 to me, like yeah. just like a thing that you were born to do, kind of. But um, yeah, I made my first album at 11. It came out in December of 2016, and it made top 80 on the music road charts. My single "Show My Roots." Wow. So it's just like um, he kind of treated me as like a regular artist, even though I was younger. But it's just such a cool thing to be in this business and work with people like Kent and. Um, work with the bands and just meet the radio people like you guys and it's just it's just such a cool opportunity for me cool. mm -hmm. uh, What's it like being You were moved here two years ago, 12 yeah. in school <laughs> and you're hanging out with uh, with just other kids mm -hmm. and yet you're cutting records and Yeah, what what's that? Like, well, did I've, they treat you differently? I, I, I was in regular school back in North Carolina. I still am now. I, I go to a, um, a public school in, um, in Franklin, which is right. just like 30 minutes away from Nashville. But yeah, 30 minutes without traffic. Right. Yeah, oh, yeah for me, I, I just sleep. So. <laughs> well, that's right. You have to drive. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, um, it's just, it's, it's different because, like, it's sometimes you get, like, jealousy with girls and stuff like that. Um, boys aren't as bad. That's why I have a lot of friends that are boys. And some girls are just like, well, that's so cool. But some of them just, you know, kind of are just standoffish and just won't talk and stuff like that. But I've always dealt with that with music because, like, when I moved, it's kind of interesting. Um, two summers ago when I moved, I got so many messages on Instagram, like, from the girls that, like, were kind of, you know, rude and standoffish. were just like, wow, I can't believe you moved to Nashville. That's so cool. I have to come down. I'm, I'm like... Uh, okay, you've never talked to me. <laughs> That's kind of interesting, but it's just like um, I love um, that I can have a school aspect too and be able to do this at the same time. So I really like that. Is it hard keeping that balance? It really is. I think I'm going to do, um, there's this thing in high, I'm, I'll be in high school next year, um, but it's just like. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's like I'm, I'm going to be doing some online classes, I think, so I can do more music and writing and more music. And just performing stuff. So. You just seem so poised and and well spoken. Thank you. For a fourteen year old, uh, 
you know, I remember when I was 14, <laughs> and, and I, I don't think I could pronounce the word poi. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's it's different. I mean, like I'm I'm definitely um, people call me an old soul all the time, which I I like the older stuff. I like um, like I said, like the '90s country. I feel like I was born in the wrong era, but you know it just happens. The older, the older stuff, the yeah. '90s country. Mm -hmm. I like some of the new stuff too, but that's kind of like where my music is. I feel like so. So, growing up and, and liking the more traditional stuff and the older stuff. Did, did other people see that as weird? Because when you're in high school, it, to me, it's all about yeah. trying to be current mm -hmm. and be down with the cool kids. I feel that way because sometimes, you know, they all listen to that, like, rap stuff and, like, pop stuff. <laughs> I mean, I listen to some of it just because, you know, some of it's similar to country now, like, country pop yeah. they listen to. To like some of the rap stuff, they're like playing at the dances, and they're like, and I'm just like, I don't know this, I don't listen. To this. But it's just like, um, it's really different because I I think they think it's cool. Sometimes people ask questions like, like what was that kind of music like, and then they'll listen to it and compare mine to that. So it's just it's different, um, a different style. So yeah, for them especially younger people. Do you want to do a song for us yeah, so people sure. can can hear this old soul singing? <laughs> I still can't. I can't imagine me being fourteen and doing what you did. It's just, you know, <laughs> it's it's an incredible journey. I I I give all the thanks to my parents and God because I I can. They brought me down here, and I know a lot of parents wouldn't even consider moving their whole lives and their family. It's just me, my mom, and dad down here. So. It, you see these little kids that can work computers and stuff. You know, like five-year-olds so yeah. they're on computers and I'm like when I was five I ate but <laughs> <laughs> well, I started in four in my church so it's just a thing I'm I guess I was born to do I just I just love it so this is called Blue Jeans and Fireflies and I wrote this one by Keith Burns he was the lead singer for Trick Company yeah. he's an awesome guy to yeah, write this too. this one's going to be on the album coming out um, in late June so
watching the National Access Facebook show with Campbell and my special guest Taylor Hope. 14 year old <coughs> Taylor Hope. Uh, is it hard at 14 to get songs that are age appropriate? I feel like so, yeah, because you can't, you're not going to write the drinking songs or the love songs. I mean, I, was, I have like three or four. Well, depending songs, on what part of North Carolina you're from. Yeah. You, I, could, you can get I away agree. with those. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I come from like a bluegrass kind of background. Um, like where I'm from, it's called West Jefferson, North Carolina, near mm -hmm. Boone. So it's, it's a pretty cool little town. I, I, I couldn't ask for a better hometown to support me in moving. Like, um, Facebook, that's where I get like the older people who are just like, oh my gosh, it's so cool you're doing this, we're behind you 100%. And that just really boosts your confidence to know that there's like a, a lot of people in your hometown behind you and, you know, just supporting you all the way. So, but yeah, um, I just... It, a lot of people would say, you know, at 14, yeah. what stories can you possibly tell? Yeah. Um, I feel that way. I, I, I take like, um, sometimes, you know, like I love the Martina McBride stuff. Sometimes in my songs I tell other people's stories. So like, example with that one, that was kind of like um, my story of moving here. Like, it was like during the summer and just like, um, that's what I'm made of. Like, it's talking about like loading your stuff in the car and just, you know, just doing it. And just living your dream. You can't like, you no know, take backs and no regrets. That's how we kind of looked at it. So. Um, we sold our house. Um, it took a while for it to sell. We just we were like, we're leaving this in like God's hands. Whatever happens, will it'll happen for a reason. So um, it sold, and we moved here, and we found a, a townhouse in Franklin. And a year later, we have a house here now in, in Franklin. So it's just really worked out. So everything's going good right now with my new album coming out and everything like that. Now, when are we expecting this new album? Um, we have it like um, later in the summer, like late June, or early July, it's coming out, so we don't have an exact release date yet, but we're just getting all the graphic design ready and stuff like that. So. Yeah, blue jeans and flyer, flyer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that the new single? Um, I have a new single coming out with the album we think, it's called Country and Me, and I wrote it with Bridget Tatum. So, Whoa. Yeah. She's, yeah, she's South Carolina. Yeah. Been, been she's country, though. Don't oh, say oh, yeah. she's, she's, <laughs> she's. When you're from a place called Kakalaki, yeah. South Carolina. Yeah, I remember that. That's yeah. what she called us. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's an awesome lady, and um, I hope to write with her again soon. But we wrote Country Me, which is going to be on the new album. I co wrote all of them. And writing, I think, is such a cool aspect um, as a young artist to, um, to be able to do what I'm doing and write other people's experiences or. Even the things I've done in my short time of life, I like to write about. So. When you're writing with someone, and I, I love Bridget, we've had her on the show. She's so, awesome. And she's got a lot of attitude. She does. She, you know, she, she's total girl power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you learn with from these people that you write with uh, um, mm -hmm. about things that go beyond the music? Yeah. It's funny because um, every time we, we stay, usually write for like two or three hours, and my mom and me are talkers, so we'll just talk. My dad's kind of more laid back, but we're, we'll talk to him and stuff like that. But um, it's just so cool, like hearing how long they've been here and like how long like it's take taking them to like take off. You know, she wrote "She's Country" for Jason yeah. Aldean, and I love that song. And she she's just wrote so many other songs that are amazing and. She's just, just like people like that, another writer connects to another writer, and it's just so cool to see how different they are in the song you write, how different they are, too. Are, are you still at a stage in your life, because I know I am, of uh, when I grow up, I want to be like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who are some of the people that you, you kind of picking things from and say, I want to be like that? Some of the people I'm like that with are Dolly, of course. Yeah. Um, I love Dolly. I love... Um, Gosh, Carrie Underwood, of course, Reba, like you mentioned. Just people like that I take note from. I watch their performances on stage. And just like it, it really depends on like um, the way you want to show like yourself to the crowd and the way you want to present yourself. And it's just, it's really cool to um, have an aspect where you can meet so many different people in writing and um, performing as, as well. It's, it's like he said, and it's just like you're an artist, but being a songwriter too is such a cool thing to have also. So You're a hell of a picker too. You can play uh, that. Thank guitar. you. I, I've played since I was eight and I started playing piano when I was around eight too, so it's just like they kinda came together. I that, that's right six here. years experience. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, it's just, just a thing that I um, I picked up on and kind of goes with what I um, what I do. So it, I just love playing guitar. It's a it's a thing like um, I'm playing the Wild Horse in June and some other dates coming up. It's on my let's Instagram's let's thing. have another song and then we'll yeah. talk about what you've got. Coming yeah, up. awesome. I'll do the one I wrote with Bridget because it's probably gonna be a little simple. So if any of you know Bridget, she's she's uh she gets sassy, so we kinda wrote this song just about being country, so this is called Country Me. for my like a, my birthday surprise um, um we came here on, for summer vacation and he's one of the first people who saw Bob Rooney it was yeah. like one of his first debuts so he's I can't believe I got to ride with him I actually did the inspirational country award show and I got to present an award with him at the Opry wow. house a couple years ago I performed this past year in um, April so um, we got to write a song called small small town um, he's from a small town and I'm from a small town so that's just kind of where we went with it but I think it's such a cool song because you can really, it's one of those songs you can picture and um, I really love him. He's, he's a sweet guy and I wrote with Devin O'Day 
who's wow. one of my favorite people ever. She's yeah. just an amazing lady. From WSN. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Bill DeLuigi. Hi, Devin. Uh, yeah, Hi. if you want to know, Dev- Devin's one of my favorite people. She's just such a kind hearted lady. And um, also, I work with Bill DeLuigi. He's one of my, he does a lot of stuff for movies and a lot of country music. He's, he's just such a great guy. Um, who else? And Bridget. Bridget's on there. And just um, Keith Burns is on there. So, just a bunch of people I write with, and hopefully more to come. So. <laughs> I, I just feel so inadequate. You're 14, <laughs> you're, you're 14, you're writing with all these powerhouse writers. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the next step? Um, I don't know. I, I'd do anything. I'd, I'd love to be a regular on the Opry. Or I'm just performing everywhere in Nashville now. I have, um, like I said, the Wild Horse coming up. Um, in the next couple months, I've got a few dates there. And also, um, I'm going to New York in August to perform at a Opera House thing for country music, which is, like, it's, it's going to be on my Instagram more, like, said about that. And I'm performing a show in Mo Pit- with Mo Pitney um, down in North Carolina at a theater there in my hometown. So just a bunch of stuff That's coming cool. up in CMA Fest. I've got like nine or ten stuff. And Plus, just, what, what have you got going on? Before we go to CMA Fest, yeah. there are people watching you right mm-hmm. now from all over the U.S., yeah. Canada, mm-hmm. and Argentina. Wow. That's so awesome. You're being introduced right now. I'll yeah. just say hi to them. Hi, I'm Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what have you got coming up for CMA Fest? Um, I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be um, at the Stillery. I'm gonna be at the um, what's it called? Local. Local. Alley Local. Taps. Um, Alley Taps. I've got a roo- rooftop performance and. Um, okay. Two puckets. I'm gonna be. It's my last boot barn. Boot barn. Yeah. Boot barn. yeah. yeah. Just a bunch. Of, like I can't remember. Like everything. <laughs> it's all on my social medias and your entertainment and music, and I will post that actually today. So yeah, that's, that's coming up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be great. I'm You're super excited. Road. It's gonna be so cool. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm I'm really happy for you, and I feel really lucky to have oh, you here. Thank you. I feel lucky to be here. So. <laughs> yeah, that'll go away fast. <laughs> but, uh, Tale and Hope, Tale and Hope yeah. music. Yes. Uh, it's like Taylor, but with an N instead yes. of her. Yeah. T A Y L O N Hope music, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Spotify on there, so all that stuff. So. And the album comes out June, July. Yes. Sometime around yeah, there. Full album. Like I carry them all, and it's it's really an album just about me. I feel like so. It's it's a it's a big relief to get it out there, just because we've we've been it's a it's been a year over a year project with all the songs and recording, so. I'm super excited for people to hear what we've been working on. So, yeah. Cool. Thank you for oh, being a guest on the show me. today. Good Your to hands see are cold. You. I'm not uh, I'm <laughs> and <laughs> Please get out and support young artists like this because with your help, they really get to be bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm-hmm. And maybe one day they'll be, you'll be Travis Rice. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you say that because Travis is yes. very good. Kind of uh, thanks for watching the show today. National Access Facebook show with Camo brought to you by Solos North Gulch Apartments, where taste matters. Make sure you connect with me on Nashville's Hippie Radio 94.5 every Saturday from 3 till 7. Every Sunday at midday on Chris Country across the UK. And every Thursday morning in Tamworth, New South Wales, Australia, 9.30 in the morning on 88.9 FM, Tamworth Radio with Jody and John. And uh, come on, you Spurs. (laughs) See you next time.